Happy holidays! Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and it's Tuesday. I've got a snowball. Whew! Gotcha! Um, today, we're going to take a look at uh, a passage, another passage in question from the OG. Um, I'm going to slowly unwrap myself as we begin. Um, so, this passage is uh, associated with question 99 on page 403 in, whoa, whoa, I'm just going to let it drop. Um, and to refresh your memory about our strategy with reading comprehension passages, that was stuck to my foot, um, I have it here. So, first thing we're going to do is attack the passage. You can do that with every reading comprehension question. And then the strategy will change based on the question that you're answering. Since this is the first question uh, in the group, uh, it's easy just to go and attack the passage. So uh, if you want, pause the video here and you go find the passage in your book and read it and attack it. And if you've already read it, then we will continue on and you can take a look at the outline that I wrote. So usually attacking the passage means you're doing three things. You're looking for the main idea of the passage. You're looking at the structure of the passage, and then the author's opinion or the tone of the passage. Doing this the first time through the passage is going to save you so much time when you get to the questions because there are question types that ask about these specific things. And uh, you don't waste any time thinking about them the first time through the passage because it's going to help you actually answer, eliminate, and move quickly through any type of question that you see uh, in the reading comprehension section. So, uh, in this passage, the main idea is about improving medical research. They mentioned sort of two ways. There's two paragraphs. There's two ways. There's two guys that are writing about this. Their names are not important. Uh, the general structure, so two paragraphs. The first paragraph introduces the main idea that medical research needs to be improved. Uh, in this first paragraph, they talk about too much information. And then there's like a caveat, they mention a risk, there's one risk, but the risk is limited. Then in the second passage, uh, they talk about another way to improve it, which is by enrolling more people. Um, this allows for a more diverse group and you can get better data. And that's it. Uh, the opinion of this passage or the tone of the passage is descriptive. Um, there's no opinion here. The author isn't uh, arguing a point of view. Um, it's really just describing what these two people have said about improving medical research. Okay, we've attacked the passage. Now we want to rephrase the question. Uh, question number 99 is very simple to rephrase. It's what is the primary purpose of the passage? I know that's a main idea question, so I'm going to be focused on sort of high level. What is this whole thing about? I can anticipate the answer. Well, I've already done that. The main idea is improve medical research in two ways. I have anticipated the uh, answer by just following my process and my strategy. So now I'm just ready to go and eliminate the wrong answers. Remember, uh, there's more wrong answers than right answers, so it's easier to just dive in and find answers that are wrong and get rid of them until you have two, maybe just one answer left uh, to choose. So um, I'm going to move over and get my pen. Uh, so in question or answer choice A, they mentioned the accuracy of the trials and only that. And so this is sort of a too narrow question, uh, answer trap. Um, accuracy of the trials is mentioned, but they leave out also the cost of the trials, which is mentioned in paragraph one. So we can easily eliminate A. B, here is drive up cost, which is mentioned, but they don't have any mention of uh, improving the accuracy, so the passage also talks about that, and that's in uh, paragraph two, so we can eliminate B. C, one key word here to pay attention to, evaluating. There's no evaluation going on in the passage. Remember, it's descriptive. We're just describing this thing. This is a distortion of what is happening in the passage, so we can eliminate it. Finally, D, describing proposed changes. Perfect. That's exactly what the passage is doing. It's describing proposed changes to medical research. D is a perfect answer. When I first went through this, I actually uh, I was like, D is probably right. I'm going to check E just to be sure. 
When I read E, I was like, ooh, this is good. This is going to be really good. And then I got to the end of the answer choice and it says, likely not to change. So this is checking to see if you're actually reading the whole answer choice. If you just read the first part, you might think this is the right answer, but there's no uh, opinion or no information about whether or not uh, these changes that they're talking about will lead to any actual changes in medical research. So we can eliminate E. All right, that was question number 99. Come back later um, and we'll move on to question number 100. Um, if you have any questions about this uh, passage, this question, or any other questions, feel free to write your comments down below. I'm happy to answer those. And of course, if you need more help, head over to gmat.magoosh.com. We have all kinds of great resources, friendly people, um, and we'd be happy to help with your test prep. All right. Be excellent to the universe. Happy holidays.